Hey guys, what is up? It is Combo, and welcome back to a brand new Elden Ring video. Today's video, guys, I'm going to be showing a very, very, very good farming spot that you guys can do basically early game. All you're going to have to do is just defeat the first main line story boss. Then you guys can actually unlock this location. And let me tell you, it is very good. It is a lot better than the Boulder one. And yeah, let's hop right into it. So what you guys are going to do first is right when you start the game, taking a look at the map, this is going to be the first step. And this is, again, ultimately where you guys are going to first start when you guys load into the game. There's going to be a person here. You're going to talk to them. They're going to kind of give you a little bit of a story background. Now, this story background is actually going to lead to you going all the way over, let's see, north and west, all the way to something called Rose Church. Now, to actually get to the Rose Church, you're going to have to kind of go through one of the first bosses. You'll make your way here through a little bit of storyline. And then after that, you don't really have to do anything. Just run all the way through here. And then you guys will make yourself to Rose Church. So I'm going to head over there right now. All right, guys. So now we are at the Rose Church. And now the person actually isn't here for me now because actually I didn't take like quest line and everything. But he will be here. What you have to do is actually talk to this guy. And he will show up after you again. You have to defeat the first boss. I don't really say any spoilers here, but be the first boss and they will show up here and you can talk to them once you guys talk to them like accept whatever they have then he's going to give you some of the bloody fingers which you can go to in the multiplayer section now actually he'll give you five in total i've unlocked this now you actually unlock the bloody finger too so you can just attempt evasions whenever you want to he'll give you five you're gonna have to go and use three of these once you guys use three of these bloody fingers very quick ways to use it you'll load yourself into a world and if you really want to just leave it use a fingers uh sever leave the world right away you guys save a lot of time unless you do want a pvp that's cool with you guys too as well so once you guys have done that three times you will talk back to this guy and this is where get a little bit harder but again not too hard you can talk to him he's going to give you like a bloody cloth or just a cloth that you have to soak in blood and to actually do that, you're going to have to walk all the way up here. Again, it's not really that far. There is kind of like a mountain kind of going up here up the side. You're going to go north and west to this location. So once you guys are at this location, there is a grace all at the top. You're going to rest at that grace site. Make sure you guys have that. And you're actually going to open up this chest here at the very top. We're going to get a key. Now, there's three different places where you can teleport to. But we want to use a certain one so we can do the cloth. And that is going to be the one right in front of me. You have one down there and one right there. But what we're going to do is we actually want to use this teleporter. So you're going to use that. Use the key and kind of like that imp statue. And then use the teleporter. Once you guys are teleported, you'll be at the Chapel of Anticipation. And this actually might look a bit familiar. What you actually have to do is verse a boss. A.K.A. kind of like the tutorial boss. And it's actually not too hard. Make sure you are a little bit lower. Again, this isn't like... A very much starting guide because where we're actually going is very higher level and you will get one shot so you have to care for that once you guys beat the boss though this area will unlock and we're actually gonna run up to this church here so once we are near this church you can go up these stairs and then we're just gonna simply head inside the main building now there actually are some summons up there and around here so you guys can explore that you on the will but we're gonna go over here and then you have an option to like put her blood on the cloth and once you guys have put her blood on the cloth, what we're going to do is we're going to go back and teleport to the Rose Church. It's going to be up here. Um, really good one is the Fallen Runes of the Lake. You can get that one. We're going to tell back, teleport back to the Rose Church and talk to the guy again. All right, so now we are back at the Rose Church, and he will be here again. Again, he's not here for me. You can talk to him, accept his gift, and what he will actually give you first is the Bloody Finger, which allows you to like basically invade whenever. After that, uh, you have to talk to him again, and you're going to get this like medallion. You're going to use that medallion, and it's actually going to teleport you to the underground place and where we actually want to go, which is over here, the Mogwin Dynasty Mausoleum. Um, so we're actually going to teleport here to the entrance. All right, guys, so we have made it to the farming place, sort of. Almost there yet. What you guys will do when you actually do arrive, you'll spawn over here. You're going to run up these stairs. And make sure you guys get this one simple grace point uh, so you guys can just return. This is very important. Make sure you get the grace point. Once you guys have this grace point, we are actually going to be making our way over to this grace point. Now, it's a little bit tricky to get over there. All you guys are going to have to do is basically just book it. Do not look behind you because, trust me, you will die. And just kind of just run the path that I run. So what we're going to do, we're going to go here. We want to keep just slightly a bit right 
So we can go over here, we're gonna go right. Okay, well, see, that will happen. What are you gonna do? The summon, yep, we're just gonna summon them. You know, you might get knocked off your horse, but just keep running. Just just keep running. Don't look back. Don't look back. Don't look back. Keep running. We're going to get across kind of this blood lake. Could be a bunch of enemies here. Again, just don't don't look back. Keep running. You may end up dying once or twice trying to do this, but once you guys get it done, you guys will be in the clear. So what we're going to do is we're going to run up this hill here. We're almost there, almost there. Run up this hill here. This is the farming location all the way up here until we get to this grace point and then when you guys get there make sure to rest here so you guys have actually made it and this is going to be the farm so what we're going to do now is just use a powerful spell or a sword wherever you guys want to and i'm just going to show you guys and you're going to kill these enemies and you're going to get 2000 now there are different ways you can use the talisman which is going to get you more the scarab and you can also use a golden pickled foot which is going to give you more runes if you want to as well so you have those two options and I will make videos on those as well if you guys want to see those um, in the future. Very, very good ways to boost your room a little bit. But even if you don't have that, you're still going to get uh, roughly about 2,000 per kill. Now, you do have a little bit to worry about for because some of these guys are a little bit harder. And again, they're going to hit hard. So that just means that you're going to get basically one shot. There are these guys that kind of run around with the shield are kind of annoying. They do like this somersault thing, which is a little bit weird, kind of funny. But yeah, just keep out in mind for that. But a lot of you guys are just going to be sitting down and you get 2,000 per kill. If any type of spell or anything, that's just going to, like this, see? That's what's really going to hurt. If any type of spell or anything like that, that's going to kill a bunch of them. That's what we're doing. If not, just kind of go in a row and you get 2,000 per kill. Literally 10 seconds for every 2,000. You can get 100,000 runes to level your character up very, very fast. Also, one thing I wanted to add is that you are going to be in the underworld. If you guys do want to switch back to your map, you might not know. Press the right trigger, you show the above ground and show the underworld. You guys will switch back from world, so then you can just simply teleport back in case you guys um, just can't figure that out. And yeah, guys, this is going to end the video. Make sure to like button and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. I really do appreciate all the support recently. And yeah, make sure to comment down below how many guys runes you guys have actually made out of this or if you plan on doing this farm. This is by far the best farm I think out there right now. We're going to get a bunch besides a few AFK ones, which some of them are really good, some of them are not. So I'll show you guys that um, probably in a few days right here. There's a few AFK ones, but this one you at least get to kill stuff, so it's not like kind of mindlessly boring, and you're getting a lot of runes at the same time. So yeah, it's Combo. Catch you guys in the next one.